Hey everybody, I'm Dan Joseph with MRC TV. We're here at a big Planned Parenthood rally right in downtown Tampa. We're going to talk to people. Does the Republican Party uh, scare you when it comes to women's, women's rights? Yes. I don't understand why. If you're a woman, you would vote for Mitt Romney, but I think that religion has a lot to do with it. Do you think that the GOP in general has a different view of what women's roles in society should be? Um, I don't want to answer. Oh, okay. Some of the Republican women that have come forward look like baby machines to me. They have so many kids. I think they've, uh, it's, a, it's habit. Habit. Yeah, they've, they've led a sheltered life and, and they've formed certain habits and that's... So they just don't know any better? In a sense, yes. I think maybe they just, you know, don't know any better and that's, that's their... I used to be a Republican myself. I think a lot of women just aren't aware or choose not to be aware. Well, some women don't understand what it's like to be a very a woman in poverty. There are millions of women in this country who will be voting Republican this year. Why do you think that is? Because her husband's told them to. If God wanted women to have orgasms, yes. they would have given them penises. Right? <laughs> Wrong. You were... Well, let's go. Uh, let's let's go. I feel like if the Republicans are in power and just set back women, do you think they'd like anything? change the stuff women could wear? I mean, it could happen. Hi, vagina ladies. Hello. What's up? Uh, Why do you think they they still vote uh, Republican if if all these women's issues are all these people are in favor of Democrats? Well, maybe their husbands have too much influence. Huh? Yeah. You think that may be it? Could be. You think that may be it? Yeah. Their church or their party, I think it's personal. It's not based on them analyzing and reading and, and being informed on the issues. So you think they just, they're just going by what, they're, what other people tell them? It's not really their own minds that they're making that decision? I believe so. They're misguided. Misguided. They belong to the religious right, and the religious right says you must be submissive to your husband, so therefore... So their husbands are telling them you're going to vote for Mitt Romney. And the then church and their husbands are indicating they want them to vote that way. Yeah. That's a lot of birth control. Obviously the GOP thinks women are inferior based on what their, their attacks on women through their attacks on reproductive health issues, reproductive freedom. The best that I can um, speculate is that women are probably uninformed that stand up for Mitt Romney, that they perhaps maybe don't realize what he actually stands for. So they just don't know any better? Yeah, I just don't think they realize that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you think it's because their husbands are telling them what to do? Well, I'm being facetious. <laughs> but some of them probably are. Some their husbands and their preachers. And their preachers. The male preachers. I said women have more rights in Cuba. They're running the country. They, they're running the country in Cuba? Right. Wow. That's interesting. Well, spent his adult life with two very strong women. But what, what about Fidel? Well, I don't know about Fidel. Raul is in, in charge He's now. He's in charge. Okay. And he's, he's got two strong women leading him. Okay.